Top of the morning all, Andy at ACCB, Grey Market Minute. Markets continue to be under pressure in the United States at the moment with another large fall overnight as well. And this is just showing that the exports aren't on for the US. Now, one thing I don't know is, is this because they haven't seen any um, information from the government or is it what people are speculating? So it's something we're gonna have to watch for at the time being. As I mentioned yesterday, lowest plantings in the US on the winter seedings on the wheat uh, for over 100 years. Something to watch out for there. Looking at sorghum markets yesterday, again, it seemed to be a bit of a slow grinding day. I think the trade at the moment is trying to make its mind up is what's the grower going to do? Are they going to come in? Are they continue to wash out? For the time being, it's steam steady. Yesterday, I got the market to 367 on the bid. The offer came in at 74. Oh, I heard some numbers around that there was supposed to be a 72 offer. There was supposed to be a 70 trade earlier on the day. But these are just numbers around. I don't know if it's on the back spreads or where it is where the market is trading on the outright. We'll just have to find out about that one. There was a bid into Brisbane as well at 375 for March, April, May. And I thought that's a pretty strong bid on the day. There's Liver Darling Downs guys there. They aren't giving up the pace there. They were kind of holding around that mid 360s, around 365 delivered down to March, April. So again, we've got to flush that one out as well. Wheat markets were pretty quiet for me, unfortunately. It's just, it is what it is at the moment. Anything that works today in the markets, do let me know. Have a cracking day. I'll talk to you soon. See ya, bye.